just a few years after the completion of Lieber House. Uh, SOM designed the, uh, the War on Petroleum headquarters in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, applied some of the, uh, of the uh, technologies that we developed in Lieber House with, uh, with some of the tinted glass, the Solex glass that we used there uh, to be able to bring in the, uh, the natural daylight while keeping out some of the, uh, of the heat gain. So we took it a step further at the War on Petroleum. Now, this is the War on Petroleum building in Tulsa. Um, again, I might, I might look at these 1950s cars right over here. Uh, what I'd like about them and what I'd like to point out is, I don't know how many of you remember the cars from the 50s, but sometimes they had these clip-on visors that went along the top of the windshield. And they had them there because they didn't have tinted windshields. So they were all clear glass windshields. So these tinted visors kept the direct light out of the eyes of the driver. And so, like those, uh, like those tinted uh, clip-ons, uh, this was a clever solution. And the clever solution here was to create not only a uh, five-foot deep balcony in this position so that there'd be an overhang, but do something else. And that is to add a tinted gray glass screen in this position to further screen the, uh, uh, the occupied space. And this is a, a passive means of screening, uh, but at the same time, also allow views, as you can see the clouds in this position, uh, views of the, uh, of the sky uh, while still screening the, the interior. And, uh, and this view of a busy executive's office uh, indicates how uh, not only uh, the person's desk is quite clean, but how the light is also very, uh, very diffuse and very soft and uh, there isn't that kind of harsh glare inside uh, the space. Uh, it's the combination of those balconies and the suspended glass screen uh, that enables the space to be daylight as it is. Uh, 